Acts 1 and 8 says, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. God wants to give you power, and the power doesn't come and go. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. The power worketh on the inside of you. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. I got the power. You got the power. We got the power. Now what we gonna do with it? God's getting ready to use us like never before. He's given us power over all the power of the wicked. When we can tread on serpents and cast out devils. Y'all not helping me here. But I'm feeling myself tonight because I want Liberty House to feel themselves. I want the same anointing that's on the church in Jacksonville, Florida. I want the same anointing that's changing the culture of a city and a state and a region. I want that same anointing that's infusing and empowering people educationally, economically, spiritually, and socially. I want that same anointing to abide in this house. I want that same anointing to where you look at stuff and say, we can't. And you look at it and say like Joshua and Caleb, oh yes, we can. I want that same anointing for Caleb had another spirit with them. You need the people of God. It don't take a whole lot of us. Just a few of us. Because he can save by many or by few. I just need a few people who ain't scared right now. Because pure is in the house. I need a few people who understand that one can put a thousand but two can chase ten thousand to flight. And I want somebody to agree with God tonight. And agree with me tonight. That you ain't going to be scared no more. That God has sent you somebody to connect with your leader. To hold his hand. To to lift him up, to cover him, to pray for him, to empower him, to educate him, to equip him. I wish I had about 10 people here who really understood what God's doing right now. Liberty House, you don't need God to do another thing for you. God has already done enough. I heard somebody say that if he never did another thing, he's already done enough for me. If that's your testimony, jump up on your feet. Put your hands together. Open up your mouth. Throw your head back and...